Hi, I'm Alison and welcome to the China Repair Studio. So today I thought I would do something slightly different and show you a part of my blue and white Chinese collection. So first of all, I would just like to show you this little ginger jar here, which I bought a little while back and it's quite naive in its painting and I absolutely love it. See a man there fishing and then behind it, although it isn't Chinese, it's actually Japanese, is a huge big um, jar here and it is Japanese and it's one of a pair, I have the other, and I just love it for the details of the birds and you've got the chrysanthemums and you know the blossom, I just, it's one of my favourites. I was lucky to buy that um, in um, an auction a long time ago. Now turning round, this is in my hallway, I have another little ginger jar here. Now these are quite common, you see them everywhere. Again, I just, it's pretty, I love it. And then we're going to go into my dining room where I have a lot more china. Now before we get to those I just want to show you here. I was given this plate, it's 18th century by a dealer a long time ago and she just rang me up and gave me a box full of goodies and this is one of them and again I just really like it. Um, you can see there's, I presume it's like a swan or some form of bird, it's very pretty. Now I just want to mention here when you have anything which you're hanging up a plate. Now I do have these, they're metal but they're covered with plastic so it does actually protect the porcelain or the china. If you have something which is completely metal unfortunately it will go through and it will eventually break and damage your china piece, your plate. So always make sure that they are coated. Now below I have a couple of things sorry the light's not very good now and these are um, from the 18th century period and again see the sort of few men on there and the dragons on here now when I did buy this this was in a sorry state and I did actually mend and fix the lid here you can see where it's all done now but I haven't finished inside it's been glued, it's had milli put, it's been sanded and it's actually ready for painting and airbrushing. Right, then before we go through to the fireplace, I'd like to just show you my Welsh dresser. Now, before we get to the top, I just would like to go to the bottom. Again, it's quite dark, but I think it's a really beautiful piece. And it is a Cantonese fishbowl. It's rather large and really beautiful. Everywhere it has the most stunning paintings and also on the inside. Now, what you would do is you would actually have this onto a stand and then you would have goldfish placed in the bowl with water. So amongst the goldfish, you would actually see inside the beautiful pictures and the paintings. I have a couple of Victorian, although they're not, I think these are Japanese, not Chinese. Now, how you can tell the difference between Chinese and Japanese, usually it's quite simple. On the whole, with Chinese, the whole base of the colour tends to be more of a blue colour, a blue-grey, whereas if you have Japanese it tends to be more of a white base rather than a blue-grey base. Now let's go through these. Now here I have a beautiful blue and white vase again and this is a scholar piece so as you can see she has her pieces there and 
a couple of terrines. I have three and I love these. I bought them from an antique shop a few years ago. These tend to, you see it quite often, they have hairs on the side for handles. And what these would be shown is, so for instance, if it was on a grand table and there was lots of terrines, you would know because it has hairs on the side, that inside would be a rabbit or hare stew. Now this does have rivets in, let me show you, and it does need some work inside. I don't mind rivets, it's part of the piece and part of its history. This one's quite an interesting one. Again, a man fishing. And I think he has a, looks like a dog. Now, can you see the sides here? Instead of having the hairs, it has the most amazing person on the side. I can't see that. Sorry, the light's not very good. It's all getting dark. Unfortunately, it's broken here and I'm trying to find a piece to sort of fix it on. So I'm looking through documents to see if there's anything similar so I can make something similar up. And again, another terrine with a hare's head. Now behind it is a beautiful platter, again 18th century, um, again it's almost finished, needs renovating but it's getting there and I love it with the deer. And another platter, now this is very pretty, again it's not blue and white but I do love it, I love the colours on it, another little vase. So roughly all of these tend to be around 18th century. Now again, one of a pair, I love this. And then behind it, just here, is a late Ming plate. And I, I can't remember where I bought that from actually. Some items I buy from uh, antique dealers, some are from charity shops, others I've had from eBay. Again, this is a little vase. I just love the colour. Very pretty, beautiful colours. Another plate. Now this is interesting. So it's a very pretty little vase. It hasn't got a stamp, I don't think, underneath. You know, it's not signed or anything. But on the handles, if I put it up against something darker, can you see there, the handles, it's hard to tell in this light, are actually elephants, uh, elephant heads, Chinese elephant heads, which I think is rather charming. And then we have another bowl. And these, I, I have a pair one here and I'll just show you, one there and these are Chinese willow pattern tea strainers and they're very old, Georgian I think and they're very fine porcelain and the tea leaves will go here and then you would put, as you can see, ready for your tea. They're very light, just beautiful. And one of them from the pair and these are the 18th century this is actually English Delft where I'm going to be working on in the next few weeks which have been badly broken now going up I know it's not blue and white but I do love this again it's got some dragons on there and a warrior scene with a bot pot And then the blossom, quite common. Now I have a couple of these small bowls, which was very fun and interesting because I had this bowl and then a couple of years later, three or four years later, I found an identical bowl. So it now has its twin. So I was very pleased with that. And then moving along, we have tiny teacups. And they're very sweet, porcelain. And then moving on, another bowl. Now this I love, I just, the painting, it's just beautiful. Birds, people, it's just, love it. And behind that, again, it's another blue and white.
plate, another tea bowl, and this is one of the pair. And then behind that, we have a couple of, I think they're 19th century uh, chargers. I have one on the other side. And then you've got, again, the blossom, which is quite popular. Now, I just want to show you one other thing um, along here, and it's just here. Now this is from I think around sort of 1770, 1740 um, and it is a piece, I think it's Mandarin and I have, it was badly damaged and if you can see here I have actually fixed it, repaired it and I've started getting ready and putting the um, sort of painting there ready for painting and finishing off. I don't know if you can see the other side, it's very fine. You can see it's been sprayed so you can't see where it's been broken yeah it just needs finishing right so we're going to come back and just finish off where the fireplace is actually on the way to the fireplace I'd just like to show you a very pretty bowl it's quite large actually and I love the size of it again a blue and white Chinese bowl sorry for the shakiness right and then we're gonna go on to the fireplace so again I've again one of a pair I think it's called the Kangxi period And a couple of dragons. I love my dragons. And then another, again, another one for power. I think I bought this from eBay. On eBay. And another one here. Now with these, it's quite pop common. When you get the lid, that's, it's called a nibbled, is the term. So it's all been chipped off at the side. So I've started to repair it. It needs a bit more work. If you can see. And again, just to show you there. A couple of men on there. And the dragons there. Now the fireplace, just very, although it isn't Chinese, it's also got a pale blue colour. And when I was after a fireplace tiles, I was looking around for some tiles and that, to be honest they were rather expensive and these were a copy of Delft. So what I did is I bought some very plain tiles from a cheaper shop and I hand painted the tiles. So it gives the illusion of how, you know, for a lot less money than buying the true Delft tiles. So there we are, that's my collection of Chinese. And I hope you enjoyed this slightly unusual one today. I thought I would just show you today just a little bit of my collection. I do have Japanese and various others, but this is just the blue and white Chinese. And again, if you haven't subscribed before, please subscribe, please like and please share. And I will see you in the next video where we will be doing some more repair work. And I do have playlists if you'd like to look at those. OK, thank you for watching if you've stayed this long and I will see you in the next one. OK, bye.